Hello there, everyone. Jason here yet again with another movie review. Today's movie, Bullet Train. Brad Pitt's new vehicle, pun intended. You remember those movies back in the day where they'd get all these big stars together, and it really wouldn't matter what the movie was about. It was just getting all these funny people together to be funny together in these crazy situations. Um, a couple movies that come to mind are It's a Mad, 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 Mad World and Clue. Bullet Train feels like it was trying to be another one of those movies. I'm not saying that didn't work completely. Um, sometimes it works quite spectacularly. But it just feels like there's so much going on and there's so much happening and there's just so many in this, so many people in this movie and it's just, the needle isn't threaded quite well enough because again, because again, it's just, there's so much happening. As you're watching it, you're having fun, you're having a good time, but when you sit down with it and you really think on it, it, it really starts to fall apart under its own weight. Uh, Brad Pitt, as I had mentioned, who stars in the film, is sort of a, a, a snatch-and-grab mercenary with bad luck who's back on his first job after a previous job he was on went sour, and he's kind of been doing some work and reflection on himself, and that's kind of his thing throughout the movie, um, which is, you know, it's, a, it's, it's, it's funny, it's fun, and there's some certainly some uh, uh, hilarious moments with Brad Pitt, but... To me personally, it kind of becomes a bit, it gets a bit old after a while. Um, I was more interested in what was going on with Brian Tyler Henry and Aaron Johnson's characters than I was with Brad Pitt. Uh, those two really are the, really are kind of, they have the most fascinating relationship in the entire movie. They're, they're two uh, brothers who are also mercenaries on this train performing a job that's that's uh, separate yet somehow related to Brad Pitt's job. And you'll find that happens a lot throughout the movie. Um, and the big reveal at the end is a lot of fun, but um, it just, uh, it again, there's just so much going on that, I mean, they, there are moments uh, where you can slow down and take it all in. Um, it's certainly nothing so rapid fire like, Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, where you don't really have time, where you, where you don't really have time to sit with it. You do have moments to sit with it, but it just feels like, I don't know, it's just everything's so, there's just so much going on that they really don't want you to look at how, uh, how flimsy it can be after a while, how confusing it can be after a while. Um, and there's just so many stars in this movie it becomes the thing where well, there, there, there's so many that there's, there's even cameos that they're not even telling you are in the movie. And they kind of make each cameo like a big reveal, much to the point where when a certain cameo came on screen, you know, a certain person came on screen, you're like, of course they're in the movie. Um, Cause that's just the kind of movie it is. Now I'm not necessarily saying bullet train is a bad movie. It's a lot of fun. It's certainly a popcorn movie. If you're going to spring, um, to see it in the theater, I would go for uh, IMAX if you can, um, with the picture and the sound. That's how I went to see it, and um, I feel like if I hadn't gone to see it in IMAX, I really probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as I did. Um, but all in all, you know, it's a decent movie. It does the job. It's one of those popcorn movies where you can just sit, have a good laugh with some friends, and uh, uh, just turn your brain off for two hours. Um, and even though I'm not per personally, I'm not all about those movies. I do like going to see some of those movies once in a while. I, I personally like to have movies with a bit more substance, a bit more, you know, going on, but, um, in terms of like subtext and, 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 uh, narrative, but this movie, I mean, this movie was okay. It, it, it works. It works for what it is. Um, all in all, I'm going to give this movie a three out of five. Um, let me know what you thought of bullet train down in the comments. Um, uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, click that notification bell to get updates on all my future videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. 
and I will see you next time. Bye.